Hi, my name is Noah Gift, and today I'm going to talk to you about AWS CDK with Python. We're going to build a project that will deploy something uh, in just a few minutes using the AWS Cloud9 environment and infrastructure as code. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we're inside of AWS Cloud9, a perfect environment for working with CDK. First up, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run this uh, official documentation command, just make sure that I've got the right version of CDK. Okay, good, that's the latest version. Uh, next up, I'm gonna look at this uh, initialization uh, structure inside of a official AWS workshop. I'll go through here and copy this. I'll put this inside. Uh, this goes through and it makes this workshop directory and notice now I'm inside of it. Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll create a sample app. So we'll go through here, run this command. Uh, now I've got this sample app. I can scroll up here and, and make sure that I do what it tells me to do. So first step here, I uh, create the virtual environment and I've sourced it. Great, and now the next thing I'm gonna need to do is make sure that I install uh, what's inside this requirements file. Let's take a look real quick. What's inside of here? This is all of the Python code that lets me use CDK. So these are critical first steps. Once I've got this going, uh, now I'm ready to actually go through and run uh, other commands uh, when the installation finishes, perfect. And if I go through here and I uh, type in, for example, uh, CDK LS, this should make me uh, confident that CDK is working and it looks like it is working. It's thinking about uh, the stacks. There we go, perfect. Uh, next up, now I'm gonna go back to this documentation here, and I'm gonna go to the Hello CDK and go to Hello Lambda. It asked me to create a directory called Lambda inside of the CDK workshop and then create this file inside. Uh, so let's go ahead and copy this, go inside of here. Let's make a directory called Lambda, perfect. And then I'll touch Lambda uh, let's see, the name it wants us to do is hello.py. That looks great, hello.py. And if I go inside of here, I can just paste this in. Very simple Lambda. Lambda functions are uh, Python functions in the case of the Python language that accept an event. Very, very straightforward. Uh, and they're run inside of AWS. Uh, next up, what I can do is install the Lambda construct library. So how do we do this? This is uh, an interesting question. Well, one way to do it would be to take this constructs code here and let's go over to our project and go into uh, the section that actually has all of our infrastructure built in. Uh, and where would that be? Well, we would just need to look inside for that particular uh, stack. And in this case, we have it right here, CDK workstop stack. Let's go ahead and double click this and let's uh, copy the whole thing, delete it and replace it. So this is going to deploy uh, our code here from CDK. Perfect, now that I've got that uh, inside the stack, I can scroll down here and uh, go to CDK diff. And this will show me what is the local versus remote version. Since we've never deployed anything, uh, there should be a pretty big diff. Let's go ahead and run this diff. And we can see that it's gonna go through and look at AWS, look at what we've got locally and see if there's changes. In fact, there is, right? Because we know that it's gonna to need to deploy this change to uh, AWS. So now that I've got that running, I just type in CDK deploy. Let's go here next, CDK deploy. And we can actually push this into AWS. This will take just a second. Perfect, do we wanna de deploy these changes? Yes, we do. Uh, and now, uh, in this case, we can say, please run CDK bootstrap inside, we've got a problem. So these are these are uh, pretty common things that happen inside of uh, CDK deployment. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's type in CDK bootstrap, perfect. And this will make sure that uh, the bootstrapping is created so that we can do the changes on AWS. One, one nice thing about doing this in the Cloud9 environment is it really is ideally suited for working with CDK because it gives you such great feedback and you know that it has the role level uh, privileges in order to, to make these changes. Okay, now we go, we see this is actually making changes and I can watch this and, and make it make sure that it deploys, but I'm gonna go back to the documentation here 
and double check uh, that everything is working. And, and really the final step here is to go to AWS Lambda console, console and make this change. So I'm while this thing is going here, <coughs> I'm gonna also open up a uh, console to Lambda and we go through here, we should see a uh, last modified filter and this will populate once we've got this thing uh, complete. So uh, I can just wait for this thing to go Okay, looks like it's deployed. It took about 77 seconds. Not too bad considering how much work it's doing. If we go back to this Lambda uh, console, there we go. 20 seconds ago, we created it. Let's go to this console. We know that it's very straightforward to test this out uh, because it's a very simple Lambda function. I'm gonna click on test. I'm gonna go through here and say, uh, hello. And then for here, let's just make something simple. We'll just say like events uh, and then say, uh, hi, there we go. Let's go ahead and format the JSON, create the event, go through a test, and uh-oh, it says we have a stack trace here. It, it wasn't looking for uh, a payload like that. Uh, it's actually looking for uh, something else, and so we could go through and test that out. Let's go ahead and, and configure another test event. In fact, we can just go to look at the documentation and see what they want us to send. So you could go through and configure uh, a more complex test event. But the, the, main, the main idea here is that, uh, in fact, uh, if we look at our code here, we can see that it doesn't, um, it looks like it's looking for the word path inside the event. And so we could just put that word path inside. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just say path, path is hello. And let's go ahead and save this format, save, test it. There we go, now we got rid of the stack trace. So pretty straightforward to go through and use the CDK system to deploy your changes. And then later uh, you can actually update the changes by looking at the diff and then deploying them again.